All right, everybody, you know what this is all about. Big boy. Big boy. Big boy. Coming up right now on Eric's Trains. All right, so by this point, I'm sure most people watching this video know exactly what the big boy is and what it's all about. But just in case you're new to the scene, I'll give you a little bit of background. So the big boy is a massive 4884 articulated steam locomotive that was operated by the Union Pacific. A total of 25 were built by Alco for the Union Pacific between 1941 and 1944. And they operated all the way up until I think 1962, although most of them were retired by the late 1950s. Now of those 25 big boys, 17 would end up being scrapped and eight were preserved in various locations throughout the country. And of course, the most famous preserved big boy is 4014 because it was selected for restoration in 2014 by the Union Pacific. Now, one of the reasons that the UP wanted to restore 4014 was to celebrate the upcoming 150th anniversary of the Transcontinental Railroad in 2019. So they started restoration work in 2014 and and in May of 2019, right on time with the 150th anniversary, 4014 ran under its own power for the first time in almost six decades. And at that point, it became the largest operating steam locomotive in the world. All right, so that's a very brief history of the UP Big Boy. Obviously, if you want to find out more, you can just Google it. So now let's turn our attention to the real reason why we're all here, the Lionel Vision Line Big Boy. Now, this is Lionel's third iteration of the Big Boy that they've produced in the last 10 years and the second Vision Line Big Boy. Now, if you're new to this, you may be saying, well, what is the Vision Line? The Vision Line is Lionel's top shelf product line. It's the best of the best. They put in all of their latest cutting edge features and sound effects. It is basically throwing in the kitchen sink and giving us everything they have in one model. And because of that, obviously the Vision Line is not a budget friendly product line by any stretch of the imagination. These models are very expensive. If something like this was a car, it would be a Rolls Royce or a Bentley. Anyway, the original Vision Line Big Boy was brought out in 2014. They did a whole bunch of different road numbers, but obviously 4014 was the most popular. And of course, it was a big hit. Then in 2019, they brought back the big boy. However, this time it was not a Vision Line model. They stripped off some of the Vision Line features like the depleting coal load and the blowdown steam. They did keep the three speaker sound system and the road number and road name specific dialogue from the original Vision Line models. But a lot of the other features were stripped out. And as a consequence, it was slightly more affordable than the original Vision Line Big Boy that was brought out in 2014. And now we're here in 2023 and they've brought back the Vision Line Big Boy better than ever. Because for one thing, they've added all the tech and features that they've added to standard legacy steam locomotives over the years, like the bicolor classification lights and Bluetooth and all that kind of stuff. And also they've added new Vision Line features like the safety steam, which is super cool. You'll see that in just a few minutes. So I can say without reservation that this is the finest big boy that Lionel has ever done. And hopefully by the end of this video, you'll agree with me. Now, Lionel offered the new Vision Line big boy in their 2023 volume one catalog. They offered a bunch of different road names and also some alternate paint schemes, some Greyhound paint schemes, and also put smoke deflectors on some of them. So there was lots to choose from, but the big boy that you're gonna see in this video was not in the catalog. This is Big Boy 4013, and this was a custom run that was done by Brady's Trains. So it's still a Vision Line Big Boy. It's got all the features that the cataloged Big Boys have. It's just a custom road number, and it's also got some custom decorations on the tender and the smoke deflectors and stuff like that. Now, you may be wondering, why didn't I get 4014? Well, it's because I already got 4014 when they brought out the original big boy in 2014. And I've also got two MTH big boys that also have 4014 on them. So I've actually got three 4014 big boys in my collection. So this time around, I decided to get something different. Now, in the 2023 volume one catalog, they offer the standalone big boys, which this custom run is a standalone big boy. And also they offer the super set, which was a big boy with seven freight cars and a vision line caboose. Now, I originally did not order one of the standalone big boys. I ordered the superset. However, the superset has yet to arrive. If we're lucky, it might show up in late December or more likely probably the first part of 2024. Meanwhile, all of these standalone big boys have shipped. And when I was at York, I saw the 4013 custom run that Brady's Trains was doing and I decided to pick one up. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get 4013 out of the box and check it out. 
All right, so here it is. And because it's a custom run, there is some paperwork and so forth that comes with it, which is kind of nice. So here's the letter. Your long-awaited 4013 Big Boy has finally arrived. Thank you for ordering our custom 4013 Big Boy. We hope you enjoy it. We have included a special thank you gift, a historic picture of the real 4013, and a custom 4013 pin. So here we have a picture of the real 4013 from Shutterfly. Pretty cool. And a special 4013 pin. How cool is that? We have two types of pins and a magnet available for purchase, so give us a call if you're interested in more 4013 swag. Please tag us in any social media posts or send us videos of it running. We love to see our customers enjoying our products. If you haven't ordered yet, you won't want to miss our custom auxiliary water tender honoring UP boy engineer Otto Jabelman, Jabelman and the Sherman Hill Custom CA-1 Caboose. These items are available for pre-order on our website, bradystrains.com. Limited quantities available. We are also doing a custom run Lionel Vision Line Pensy Triplex, so stay tuned for more details. Thank you for your purchase, John Brady. All right, and here's our big, big boy box. Boy, this thing's heavy. Model number 2331630, Brady's Trains exclusive UP Vision Big Boy number 4013, with an on-the-water date of August 18th, 2023. Now, as many of you already know, whenever I unbox something, I like to use a knife from my knife collection because I'm a pretty avid knife collector. Right now, I've got about 200, 250 knives in my knife collection. I figure you got to open the box with something sharp, so why not use something from my knife collection? And I can kind of share that with you guys. So for today's unboxing, I figure we should use a really big knife to unbox the big boy. And so we'll be using this guy. It's kind of comically large. This is made by Schrade. <laughs> this, is, this is the SCHF 45. <laughs> and here's the obligate movie quote. That's a knife. Yeah, this thing is absolutely gigantic. So, kids, don't do this at home. That actually worked really well. Ooh, look at that. Always love to see that black vision line box. Man, this thing weighs a ton. This box has to weigh at least 20 to 30 pounds. You know what? Let's let's weigh it and find out. <laughs> yeah, I just weighed it off camera and this box weighs just over 22 pounds. And don't forget, for ages 14 to adult. There's the manual. That's a pretty thick manual. I'm going to read up on this because there have been some changes between this one and the previous Vision Line Big Boy. Yeah, that is a that's a pretty good sized pamphlet. All right. The moment we've all been waiting for. Okay, so we got some stuff over here. There's a funnel for smoke fluid. This is the smokestack cap, sort of like the little smoke deflector cap that goes on top of the twin smokestacks and I believe these are smoke deflectors okay well this is one smoke deflector check that out that is definitely a custom run smoke deflector there that's awesome and let's see here we've got some piping here this goes on the whistle I believe got the mounting pads if you want to use scale couplers Dummy O-gauge coupler and spare traction tires. And here we have the second smoke deflector. <laughs> That's awesome. I love it. And now for the piece de resistance. I 
feel like I should be wearing gloves to do this. Wow. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> this may sound weird, but this, this, I think this looks better than the 4014 that I already have. This looks amazing. I love the accents with the paint. The cylinders look incredible as well. Let's check out the tender. Oh, wow. Look at that. How sharp is that? That looks awesome. Holy smokes. This thing looks incredible. Man, I'm so glad I picked up one of these. This just, this looks outstanding, folks. I love the silver accents on the little Timken caps there. And that stripe. This thing looks great. And here it is on the way out, and man, does it look fantastic. You know, the big boy model on its own is incredible, but this custom run of 4013 that Brady's Trains has done is just absolutely stellar. And this is coming from someone who already has three big boys in his collection. So it's not the easiest job in the world to drop my jaw with a new big boy model. And I'm telling you, when I took this thing out of the box, my jaw dropped. It is absolutely gorgeous. Anyway, we're going to start off with some stats. And I I thought it might be fun to compare the stats on the new Vision Line Big Boy with the stats on the original Vision Line Big Boy from 2014. So we'll start off by getting the length, which I expect them to be pretty much the same. So the new Vision Line Big Boy is right at 33 and a half inches long. And let's go ahead and weigh it. All right, so the locomotive, this sucker's heavy, so. Just a hair under 11 pounds, four ounces. Yeah, it weighs a lot. And here's the tender. And this is just a hair over four pounds, four ounces. So that gives us a total weight of 18 pounds, eight ounces. That is very impressive, ladies and gentlemen. And here we have the original 4014 from 2014. So let's get the length. I expect it'll be pretty much identical. Yeah, right at 33 and a half. And by the way, ignore this big O-gauge coupler on the front of 4014. I've added it there because, spoiler alert, we're going to be double-heading these two big boys later in this video. So now let's get the weight of the original 4014. So the new Vision Line big boy was 11 pounds, 4 ounces. And this one is... Wow, it actually weighs more than the new one. This one's 11 pounds, 8.7 ounces. So almost five ounces heavier than the new Vision Line Big Boy. And the old tender weighs in at, well, it's a little heavier as well. Four pounds, 5.5 ounces. So about an ounce and a half heavier than the new Vision Line Big Boy's tender. Now, of course, the minimum required curve is the same on both of these 072. No big surprise there. In fact, it'd be a surprise if the minimum curve was not 072. But lastly, let's talk about pulling power. Now, this is where it gets interesting. So the new Vision Line Big Boy actually has a little more pulling power than the old Vision Line Big Boy. The old one had three pounds, 15 ounces of pulling power. The new version has four pounds, 11 ounces of pulling power. So that's a pretty good improvement. Now, the reason I think that might be is that I've noticed in recent years, a lot of the new steam locomotives that Lionel has been making have much more pulling power than their predecessors. I don't know why that is. I think there might be a difference maybe in the motor driver boards or something like that. But I've noticed that increase across the board in recent Lionel steam engines. Now, when it comes to pulling power, I'm sure a lot of you might be thinking that the big boy would be the pulling champion. And surely nothing else in my collection could pull as much as the big boy because, you know, it's the big boy. But that is not the case. And this is one of those examples where just because something is so in the real world doesn't make it so on a model railroad. Generally speaking, I found that models of articulated steam locomotives actually have a little less pulling power than models of non-articulated steam locomotives. And I think it's because regardless of whether it's an articulated or non-articulated steam locomotive, they both both still have a single flywheel motor powering everything. So with an articulated locomotive like the Big Boy, you've got that single flywheel motor trying to power a whole lot of wheels. Whereas on a non-articulated steam locomotive, that same flywheel motor is trying to power fewer wheels. Therefore, I think you get a little more pulling effort out of that non-articulated locomotive. It's kind of like the power is being spread over more axles and more wheels, and therefore it reduces the pulling power a bit compared to a non-articulated steam locomotive. 
locomotive. So yeah, the big boy is not the pulling champion of my collection. Now, don't get me wrong. Four pounds, 11 ounces is a ton of pulling power. You'll be able to pull pretty much whatever you want with this thing. But earlier this year, Lionel released the Chessie Greenbrier, which is basically a 484 Northern non-articulated steam locomotive. And that thing pulls five pounds, five ounces. So yeah, the Chessie Greenbrier actually pulls more than the big boy, believe it or not. Now let's talk about the features found on the new Vision Line Big Boy. But again, I thought it would be cool to sort of do a comparison of features between the new Vision Line Big Boy and the older original Vision Line Big Boy. So first off, let's talk about features that they have in common. So they both have legacy command and legacy rail sounds. They both have the three speaker stereo sound. They both have road name and road number specific dialogue, very cool. They both have fan driven smoke in the smokestack, whistle steam, blow down steam, the depleting coal feature, and they also have a red glow in the firebox and the variable ash pan glow effect. And by the way, in case some of those features didn't make sense, I'll talk more about them in just a moment when we take a closer look. Now, in addition to the features that both of these locomotives share, the new Vision Line Big Boy also has Bluetooth on board. You've got a choice of five whistles and five bells. It's got four digit addressing, which will come in handy on the upcoming Lionel Base 3 command system. It's got the safety valve steam, which I'll come back to in just a moment. Then you've also got bicolor classification lights on the locomotive and the tender. And you've also got the really cool force coupler effect, which again, I'll come back to in just a moment. Now, here's where things get interesting. Coming back to the safety valve steam on the new Vision Line Big Boy, that new feature comes at the expense of a feature that was found on the original Vision Line Big Boy. So on the original Big Boy here, they had an effect called the dual chuff effect. And the way it worked was that rather than having a single fan driven smoke unit down below these two smokestacks, they actually had two smoke units. And so just like on the real Big Boy, when this thing was in operation, you would have the smoke alternate between the stacks rather than coming out of both stacks at the same time. It was visible at low speeds, not very visible at high speeds. And of course you wouldn't be able to see it at all if this smoke deflector was in place like it is now. On the new Vision Line Big Boy, what they've done is they've taken one of those two smoke units and allocated it for the safety steam effect. They've moved it back here for the safety steam. So on this new big boy, rather than having the smoke alternate between the two stacks, it comes out of both stacks at the same time. Now, some people are gonna complain about that because, well, people love to complain. I actually think it was a good decision on Lionel's part because, as I said, with this dual chuff effect, you could only see it really at low speeds, and if you had the smoke deflector in place, you couldn't see it at all. Whereas the safety steam effect is very visible, very prominent. There's no way anybody's gonna miss this thing. I ran the new big boy at my open house this year and every time the safety steam activated, everybody saw it and everybody thought it was super cool. Now I ran both of these for my girlfriend, Lisa, and I asked her if she could tell a difference between the way the two went down the rails in terms of the smoke. And honestly, she couldn't tell me a difference. She didn't notice that it was doing the alternating chuffing versus the single chuff on the new Vision Line Big Boy. So again, it's, it's a feature that not only is it only visible under certain conditions, even when it is visible, a lot of people aren't gonna notice it unless they really know what to look for. Whereas the safety steam has much more razzle dazzle, it's much more prominent. So I actually think it was a really good trade-off for Lionel to sacrifice one of the smoke units in the smokestack and allocate it for the safety steam. I think it gives the new big boy much more pizzazz. And let's face it, you know, one of the most fun parts about owning a Vision Line locomotive is showing it off to your friends and visitors. And the safety steam, like I said, you can't ignore it. People who visit your layout, they are not gonna miss that. Whereas with the dual chuff, they may or may not notice it. Now going in for a closer look, here is the front pilot. Now on 4014, you saw I had that big dummy O-gauge coupler and that was attached here. If you rotate this around, there's a dummy scale coupler there and there's a dummy O-gauge coupler that's packaged with the locomotive when you buy it, and you can swap them out if you wanna double head it as I did on 4014. And above that, you can see this really nice UP plate, and then we've got our headlight with lighted number boards on either side. And above that, we've got some really nice piping detail up here and safety tread on all of the walkways. 
And then we've got the front of the smoke box. So we've got the operating classification lights, lighted number boards, and a little brass bell, nice grab iron and rivet detailing. And then we've got Big Boy written here. And of course, in case you don't know, the way that the Big Boy got its name was that when the first or one of the first Big Boys was being built at Alco, one of the workers in the shop took a piece of chalk and wrote Big Boy on the front just like that, and the name stuck. And then we've got the smoke deflectors. Now, the real 4013 did not have smoke deflectors. I believe the only big boy that did have smoke deflectors was 4019, and they were added on there as an experiment. But Brady's Trains has taken some liberties here and outfitted 4013 with smoke deflectors. And I, for one, think they look great, especially with this Building America stuff going across them. Now, these are optional. You can run with or without them. So... We've got these prongs up on top, and if you pull those out, gently of course, you can remove the smoke deflectors. And then behind that, you can see the legible builder's plates. You can also see the throttle linkage there, very cool. And then to reinstall the smoke deflector, you just put those three little prongs up top in the holes. Make sure they're in there firm. And there we go. And then up top, we've got the twin smokestack and the whistle. So we've got this little smokestack cover on here. And by the way, the purpose of the smokestack cover on the real big boy was to protect the tunnel linings of tunnels from being damaged by all the smoke. So under that, we've got the twin smokestacks and there's a fan driven smoke unit down in there, of course, and to load smoke fluid into the smoke unit, not only for the smokestack, but also for the whistle steam effect. You just pour the smoke fluid down either of these stacks. Behind that, we've got the whistle, and this is that piece that came packaged separately that you saw during the unboxing. If I can pull it off. There it is. And it just goes in there like that. And of course, when you blow the whistle, the steam will shoot out of this hole right here, giving the illusion of steam shooting out of the whistle. Moving back, we've got these brass pop-off valves, and this is the location of the new safety valve steam effect that Lionel has added to all of these new Vision Line big boys. So you've got two holes up here, one on either side, and when the safety valve effect is activated, smoke shoots out of both of these holes, giving the illusion of steam being let off by the pop-off valves. It looks incredible, and it also sounds incredible, and you'll see and hear it in just a few minutes. Behind those pop-off valves, we've got this sand dome, and the top of it can be removed, like so. And that reveals a bunch of stuff. So first of all, we've got the master controls for the locomotive. So the run program switch, Bluetooth on off, on off for the main smoke, on off for the whistle smoke, and on off for the pop off smoke. And then the last switch is on off for the blowdown smoke. And then we've got two holes here to fill two smoke units. This one will fill the smoke unit for the safety valve steam, this one will fill the smoke unit for the blowdown steam. And the cap that goes on there is held down with magnets and you've also got O-rings on the plugs for those smoke fill holes. And it pops on like that. And then the last thing up on top of the locomotive here is this cab vent on the roof of the cab. And that can be opened up like that. Now I really like the area around the cab because there's so much going on. So we've got these accents on the truck that look great these red valves. Then we've got this area along the bottom of the ash pan, and that is where the variable ash pan glow effect is. And the way that works is that when the engine is in operation, when it's moving, you'll get a red glow coming from the ash pan, and that glow gets more intense the faster the locomotive goes. Right here, there's a little hole here for the blowdown steam effect. So when that's activated, steam will shoot out of this hole, and there's one on the other side as well. And then under the cab window here, I love this sort of Greyhound striping. It looks fantastic. And then the cab windows, they slide back and forth. Everything just looks amazing here. Here's a look at the gap between the locomotive and the tender. And I got to say, it's pretty good, especially for O scale. And we've got this nice drop plate going on between the two, which adds to the realism. The inside of the cab looks incredible. Now, it is illuminated, but of course, it's powered off right now. Let me see if I can shine a light in there. And you can see there's... A lot of hand-painted valves and gauges everywhere. 
There is a red glow in the firebox when the engine is in operation that looks fantastic. But by far the best part is the floor. You've got this silver floor with safety tread and a really cool UP4013 badge. It looks amazing. Here's a look at the underside of the locomotive. That's a whole lot of wheels. We've got four traction tires, two here and two back here, and then four pickup rollers, two per truck. Now, if you're new to Lionel or new to the hobby, you might be wondering, how do the electronics in the locomotive communicate with the electronics in the tender? Where are the wires going between the two? Well, there are no wires, and that's because Lionel uses an infrared communication system. There's a sensor on the drawbar here coming from the locomotive, and there's a sensor here coming from the tender, and that's how they talk to each other. It's all done wirelessly. And then we have the tender. And again, I think this just looks amazing, especially with this Greyhound stripe and the little UP flag there. And I love these accents on the trucks. It all looks fantastic. And here's the back of the tender. We've got operating classification lights as well as an operating backup light. And then lots of add-on grab irons and ladders. And then we've got the electrocoupler down here that you can throw via the legacy remote or via your phone using the Lion Chief app. Now, the coupler is home to the last standout feature of these new Vision Line big boys, and that is the force coupler effect. And the way it works is that there's actually a sensor on this coupler that detects the load that you're pulling behind the locomotive and it adjusts the labor sounds of the locomotive accordingly. So if you're pulling no cars behind it or very few cars, the locomotive will not be very labored and you'll get sort of a light chuff. Whereas if you're pulling 100 cars behind this locomotive, it'll adjust that. You'll get a very labored sound out of the locomotive. It is super cool. It used to be that you could only adjust this kind of thing manually on the legacy remote, but now it's all automated thanks to the force coupler effect. So cool. Finally, here's a look at the underside of the tender. We've got a sensor here for the Lionel LCS sensor track if you choose to use one. There are two pickup rollers, and then underneath all this, there are two speakers for the sound system. All right, so before we go any further, I wanna talk about the elephant in the room, which is, of course, the price of the new Vision Line Big Boy. Now, make no mistake, this is a very, very, very expensive model. But I want to preface it by saying, as I said earlier, that the Vision line is not meant to be a budget-friendly product line. It's top tier. It's, as I said, like Rolls-Royce or Bentley. It's going to be expensive any way you slice it. Now, Lionel does make plenty of more affordable trains. They have starter sets that go for around $300 or so, and they have ready-to-play sets that go for under $100. So if you're looking for something really affordable, Lionel does have much more affordable trains that they offer. But the Vision line, not a budget-friendly product line by any stretch of the imagination. Now, the retail price on the new standalone big boy like the one I have here is right at $2,900. Yes, almost $3,000. That is a ton of money. However, it's interesting because that $2,900 price tag is not as bad as you may think. Now, I'm not saying it's not a lot of money. However, if you look at it from an inflation point of view, it's actually not that bad. The original Vision Line Big Boy in 2014 had a retail price of $2,700. Now, $2,700 in 2023 is now almost $3,500. Actually, I think it's a little bit over $3,500. And yet, the new Vision Line Big Boy is only $200 more than the original 2014 Big Boy, and it has more features and more tech. So when you look at it from that inflation point of view, it's actually not that bad of a deal. Now, I'm not saying it's not expensive. I'm not saying it's affordable. I'm saying when you look at it in that lens, in that inflationary lens, it's not that bad of a deal. And I wanna clear up something. I've talked about this in a previous video, but a lot of times people get upset when I say something is not a bad deal or it's a good deal. They're like, well, you have a lot of money. Well, how much money I have or don't have really has nothing to do with whether it's a good deal. A good deal is more objective. It's based on numbers. If you look at it from the inflation point of view, you can say, well, inflation has gone here and the price has gone here. Therefore, it's actually not that bad of a deal. Now, affordability on the other hand, is very subjective. What's affordable to me may or may not be affordable to you, and what's affordable to you may or may not be affordable to someone else. That is something that's very personal, and it's something I can't really comment on, but I can say that looking at the numbers over the years, the fact that it's only gone up by $200 and it's been nine years and where inflation has gone, 
it's actually not as bad of a deal as you might think. Now, again, I'm not really gonna argue about the price. It is what it is. Lionel prices these things like they price them and you can either afford it or you can't. It's that simple. However, I will say that if you're in the group where you like this model, you want this model, but you can't afford it, but you're thinking, okay, maybe I'll save up my money and be able to get one of these someday. I think that's a great idea, but I'll give you a couple pieces of advice. First of all, under no circumstances do I want any of you guys to save up your hard earned money and pay more than retail price for one of these things from one of those predatory sellers on eBay. I guarantee that as I'm making this video, someone's got one of these things on eBay and they're listing it for three, four, five, six thousand dollars $6,000 and they're using that word rare in the title. Well, there's a lot of adjectives I could use to describe the Vision Line Big Boy. Rare would not be one of those. This is not a rare model. Lionel's made it in the past. They just made it now in 2023, and they will make it again in the future, I guarantee you. So it's a fantastic model, but it is not a rare model. So if you want to save up your money and get one of these things for yourself one day, I would advise doing it one of two ways. If you can find a reputable dealer who's willing to sell it to you for at or below retail price, go for it. If you go to a train show or something like that, and you can find it for a good deal, under that retail price, go for it. Otherwise, I would advise you to just wait it out because Lionel will run the big boy again. I guarantee you probably within the next five years because it's a big seller for them. They will make it again. And guess what? When they make it again, it's going to have all the latest tech and features that they have five years from now. So it'll be the best big boy ever. And you'll be able to get it at a price far below what these jerks on eBay are asking for a so-called rare vision line locomotive. So again, under no circumstance, do I want any of you paying more than full retail for one of these Vision Line big boys? They're simply not worth it because they're simply not rare. All right, the last thing we're gonna do before we start this thing up is... All right, so my pick for best feature on the new Vision Line big boy, well, it may seem a tad predictable, but I love the new safety valve steam effect. I think it was worth sacrificing the dual chuff of the smokestacks for the safety valve effect because it is so prominent. It adds so much pop to the model and it just makes it look so darn cool. All right, now comes the fun part. Let's go ahead and crank up UP 4013. Colonel Brickman, UP 4013. We're showing 90 pounds on the road to train. Take out 20 for initial terminal brake test. That's a roger. 20 pound reduction given. Checking for leakage. Out. Roger, showing 20 pounds. Welcome to train. Brickman out. Okay, first let's check out the whistle. There are five whistles to choose from. My favorite is number one. Let me know what your favorite is. Now let's check out the five bells. My favorite is number five. What's your favorite? All right, now we're gonna check out the safety valve steam feature, which I think looks absolutely incredible, but let me know what you think. That looks so cool. And here's the blowdown steam feature now. I'm only showing it emanating from one side of the locomotive, but it actually does emanate from both sides. Oh, 
Next we'll check out the depleting coal load feature and ordinarily as I said this is a slow process that takes place while you're running the locomotive but we can do it in demo mode and that's activated by having the locomotive stop and then pressing and holding the brake key on the legacy remote. But even in demo mode it's kind of a slow process so I'm going to run the video a little bit fast just to make it more obvious. That's pretty cool, isn't it? And then to refill the coal, we'll press and hold the zero or reset key on the legacy remote. Okay, we're ready to move it out and behind 4013 I've got eight Lionel 21 inch Union Pacific passenger cars. Now I'm going to start off by running 4013 by itself and then later on it'll be joined by 4014. And just for fun when we start moving I'm going to use the wheel slip feature.
All right, so there you have it, Lionel's latest Vision Line Big Boy. I think it is absolutely fantastic, and hopefully by this point you agree with me that this is Lionel's finest big boy yet. I am super stoked I was able to get one of the custom-run 4013s that was done by Brady's Trains. Now, I think at this point they might be sold out of the 4013s, but if you give Brady's Trains a call, hopefully they can take care of you. Maybe they can get you a 4013 or another big boy, and maybe you can pre-order their upcoming Pensy Triplex. Yes, I say Triplex, not Triplex. And keep in mind that I will be getting the Big Boy Super Set. Hopefully that'll come in sometime soon, and when I do, you can bet I'll do a video on it. Now, if you'd like to support this channel, I would greatly appreciate it. That can be done through Patreon at patreon.com slash ericstrains. Patreon supporters get access to all sorts of perks and benefits, and you can read about those benefits on my Patreon page. I'd like to put a big thank you out there to all of my current Patreon supporters. Your support means the world not only to me, but to the future of this channel. And an extra super big thank you goes out to my premium tier Patreon supporters. You'll see their names at the end of this video. Anyway, that does for now. I'm Eric Siegel. Thanks for watching. Take care, and I'll see you next time. Big boy, a big boy, a big boy. <laughs> oh boy.